We went to Arosi to meet up with Dan and to learn about natural building techniques. The road there was really, really beautiful. Lots of coffee farms. We stayed a night in town at the hotel owned by Frank and Catherine, the owners of the land where we would be working. They had a Burning Man sculpture outside. In the morning, we hopped on our bikes and took the steep dirt road through the water and up the hill to the farm. When we arrived, we were greeted by Sol the dog. And we set up our tents and checked out the camp. No, you know what we need is a weed whacker. Oh my god, if there's a weed whacker here, it's gonna be like me. <laughs> you think it would kill it in like two seconds? Yeah. It was super primitive. Everything was made from recycled materials and it was really overgrown from the rainy season. Spending time up there really showed us how little you needed to be comfortable though, that everything didn't look like much, but all of it functioned really beautifully. The toilet was a bucket, but it had a really fabulous view of the valley. It had toilet paper, and that's more than you can say for most Central American toilets. We met another volunteer named Melissa. She was making empanadas, and we joined right in helping her cook. We did a lot of cooking. We probably ate healthier in those two weeks than we have in the rest of our entire lives. We made everything from scratch. We learned how to make tortillas and empanadas. We boiled our own soup stocks from vegetable peelings. We would go and pick fresh blackberries and put them in crepes and have delicious crepe breakfast. Every day we would hike down to the spring to gather water for drinking and for making clay. We needed a lot of it because we were working on a pizza oven. Some other volunteers had already made a bunch of adobe bricks. We just dug clay right out of the ground and mixed it with water and a little bit of concrete and some long strands of grass and made adobe. The oven was going to take two weeks to dry even after we completed it and we were impatient and wanted to cook some awesome pizza and bread. So another volunteer, Raphael, was really industrious. He's a metal worker and there were almost no tools on the farm. There was a sledgehammer and a regular hammer and a chisel and a sharpening stone and he taught us how to sharpen the chisel to the point where we could cut with it and cut a door out of the steel drum in order to make it into an oven. He stacked some of the spare cob bricks from the pizza oven inside to help retain heat and then we made an exhaust pipe from some corrugated steel that and put in a shelf to hold bread and we cooked our first thing of garlic bread mm -hmm. and it was incredible. And yeah. everything we made in that oven was delicious. We went kind of crazy making pizza and cinnamon rolls. And, and cookies. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> we ate a lot of bread once we learned how to make it. <laughs> Raphael also made a wok out of the top of an oil drum, which took a lot of pounding. And Melissa cooked a delicious and enormous batch of pad thai in it. Dan is super industrious, too. and He made a soldering iron out of a pen and some spare parts to work on a solar panel that was broken and he also gave us a lesson in electronics on our bikes because my battery was dying and he showed us how to calculate the load on the bikes. Working on the farm was really freeform. You could get up whenever you wanted, work on whatever project you felt like doing. Some days we flashed trails through the forest, other days we would work on making clay for the oven or building shade structures for extra camping or covering new work areas. And some days you could just read a book, hang out, or hike down to the nearby waterfall, take a shower, and uh, do some laundry. Raphael brought us to an incredible hot spring. Every morning we woke up to the sound of the howler monkeys and toucans. They had an excavator machine that was cutting road and also flattening areas for future earthships. I asked the guy who was operating it if I could drive and he let me, so I got to drive it and learn how to cut roads. We also got to work on the start of an earthship. We had to hack out some serious rocks. Earthships are sustainable homes that are made from recycled materials and the walls are usually made of tires that are filled with dirt. You basically Take a tire and put it on a level surface and take a giant sledgehammer and wail on it until you pack all the dirt deep until it's really solid and then they're adobe over. Earthships also commonly use glass bottles for windows. We would have stayed longer, but I needed to get to Panama City to fly back home for my sister's wedding. After eating super healthy on the farm, we needed to gorge ourselves on some delicious Mexican tacos and some bacon chips. Mexican tacos. Mm. <laughs>